Why do people develop epilepsy? In 70% of epileptics, there is no apparent underlying cause. From this, we mean that definitely there is an underlying reason for the short circuiting, but that that problem is not visible on routine tests. In 25 to 30% of the patients, epilepsy is secondary to prior stroke, head trauma, or infection of the brain. But as we said, in 70% of the people, no underlying lesion is identified on brain imaging. Secondary epilepsy is potentially preventable, i.e., if you prevent a stroke or brain infection from happening, you are also preventing the secondary epilepsy that may follow these illnesses. At times, seizures are because of electrolyte imbalance or less glucose in blood. For example, decrease in blood sodium and glucose levels are commonly encountered causes of seizures. Seizure may be due to consumption of many of the illicit drugs like alcohol and cocaine. Is epilepsy treatable? In 90% of the patients, epilepsy is completely treatable. We know that it is an illness of the brain and how it is treated. Mostly, treatment is possible through anti-epileptic drugs. These medications are to be taken for long time periods regularly. Duration of therapy is between 3 and 5 years, or maybe 10 years, or even longer. The most effective way of treating epilepsy is timely and regular administration of these drugs. Most of the times, single drug therapy is sufficient. An important point to remember is that good control of seizures doesn't mean that one can stop the drugs. This is because seizures can reoccur if medications are stopped. Our target is complete control of both minor and major seizures for at least three years before we can consider stopping these drugs. 60 to 70 percent of epileptics don't require lifelong therapy, and anti-epileptic medication can be successfully stopped after three to four years. In patients who don't take their medication regularly, epilepsy may become refractory and they then have to take lifelong therapy. 90% of epileptics can lead an absolutely normal life. We have medical students, physicians, and PhD doctors who are epileptics. Similarly, engineers and people working in airlines are continuing with their professional lives on treatment.